Hey guys, Fearless Showdown here, and welcome back. It is Sunday, and you guys know what that means. GTA 5 Top 3 Funny Moments of the Week. But wait, the picture says For the Horizon. That's because I've decided to change the series, guys. It's not going to be Top 3 GTA 5 Funny Moments of the Week anymore. It's just going to be your weekly Top 3. So it's just going to be the top three of anything that happened that week because a lot of the times I'm doing different stuff. Like this week I've been doing nothing but drifting. That's why I did the montage. So, you know, I'm not always doing GTA 5 and not everything's funny. So every week I'm going to do a different top three. And this week I'm doing the top three modded cars given to me by other people in Forza Horizon. So today we're going to start this off with... Number three. Today, coming in at number three, is the 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec R that somebody modded, gave me the sweet paint job and wheels, and gifted it to me. I really appreciate it. You know who you are. And the 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec R, as we all know and love, as the S15, is built to S-Class, has 570 horsepower, 400 feet, foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs just 2,324 pounds. The motor in this is the stock 2.0 liter with a single turbo. Now, the reason this is coming in on the top three why not two why not one because it is a well modded car it has good camber angle you can't tell from the paint shop because you can only see the camber when you're in free mode but it has amazing camber angle and it's missing the front bumper which thinks i which i think gives it that perfect door slammer missile drift missile look but the only issue i really have is it's got way too much power. You know, I don't modify the cars people give me because I feel like that's what they drift and I want to see if I can drift it. And I don't like to mess with their stuff, so what they give me is the way it stays. So 570 horsepower is a lot. It likes to get a little squirrely, it likes to slide around, and that's what drift cars are for, but I feel like after I got the hate tweet, I really started drifting lower horsepower and I really enjoy it. Both of these cars are at least more than a hundred horsepower below 570 and that's the way I like to keep it is nice and low so that's just that's why this car is coming in at number three and not number two and not number one And coming in at number two is my 1985 Toyota Sprinter Truino GT Apex. Whew. That is a pretty long name for a car that we all know and love as the AE86, guys. This beast is built to A-Class, 315 horsepower, 231 foot-pound of torque, and it weighs only 1,815 pounds. That is the lightest car in my garage. It is amazing. It. I like all my drift cars to have the stock motor, so this does have the 1.8 liter stock motor that came in the AE86 out of the factory, and it is naturally aspirated. I felt like this drifted fine naturally aspirated, so I didn't put a turbo on it. I, if I have to do the aspiration update, I only put the single turbo on it because I don't like the twins and I don't like the superchargers. I stick with the single turbo just to get enough boost that I need to get it sideways, guys. I like to keep that power nice and low now. But the reason this car is coming in at number two and not number one is because how much I love these cars to death for... Like, I love these cars and 
missing the front bumper it looks amazing with this door slammer paint job you all may know it as drift missiles but I call them door slammers looks incredible rally wheels I love this car but you know I've never really been that big a fan of the AE86 it's a great car you know it's a Toyota did a good job making a affordable rear wheel drive car that everybody could love but it's just so ugly I'll probably get hate for this but I just never thought they were that attractive of a car with this rusty paint job yeah it looks good because it looks bad it looks good because it looks bad so that's why this car is coming in at number two And coming in at number one is the 1993 Nissan 240SX SE. It is built to A class, 427 horsepower, 391 foot pounds of torque. It weighs 2,501 pounds. She is not a light one. And it come and what is in it is what came in it from the factory. The 2.6 liter Nissan with a single turbo because it needed that little extra boost to get around those curves so I put in that single turbo and man he put that oh he put the handling mod in it he put the camber he lowered it he took the front and rear bumpers both off it it's an amazing car and you guys know I'm a sucker for Need for Speed Pro Street I grew up on that game I grew up playing Need for Speed Pro Street on the Wii guys not let me repeat, not the 360 on the Wii. So you know I'm a sucker for this car. And man, I just love it. I love it to death. It is amazing. It's it's my favorite drift car that was that has been given to me by someone else. Not I did not build this, someone modded this and gave it to me, and it is incredible. I love this car so very much. And I don't know, it's just something about it. It's got to be the paint job, the memories, and the handling, and it's just, it's great. The low horsepower is, I don't know, it's just, it's got to be my favorite. It's coming in at number one, and that, and that is the reason. It's just the combination of all the things I like in one, and that's just the way it is. So, I did download the Horizon program and some other programs and I can mod cars now and I can get the unicorn cars so expect to see a lot of videos about that coming very soon and I am working my ass off right now trying to get enough money or extra money to buy the Elgato capture card to make these videos a lot better than they are now because as you can tell what the fuck there's an inch in, uh, at least on your probably your phone or your tablet there's at least an inch around the outside of your tablet before it hits my video and prob and on your computer it's probably worse and I really apologize so I'm gonna try to get that fixed and if you like this video and would like to see more remember to hit that like button comment and subscribe guys thanks for watching hey guys fear the show down here drop a copyright note in this video the song that I used that was out of the normal was a song called higher by Creed. It is an amazing song and I just love it to death. Had to put it in the video because I felt like it went with the video, especially with the number one spot, guys. So if you like this video and would like to see more, remember to hit that subscribe button, like, comment below. I really appreciate it, guys. So thanks for watching and peace.